Hey, yeah. Hey, you can come chill with the vibe, yeah. You can come get stupid high, high off a of life like every night. Won't hit the loud, but my brothers might. When I'm out, people try to dab me. Only do pounds to keep my hands clean. No, it's not nothing personal. Don't wanna pass that throughout the family. Niggas stay all in my business, bugging me, ask me when I'ma drop this. Hey, niggas are the lamest, wanna throw shade, don't know where to aim it. Yeah, I was about to snap. <laughs> I just go ham on this last part. Yeah. Okay, okay. <laughs> Yo, couple homies are professional By association, I'm professional I can headline at a festival Get the fuck up off my testicles Coming through, I'ma kick the door down Fuck a doorbell, I don't knock Bars on Dwayne Johnson I think it's better if I say the rock Sucker now, nah, people gonna talk Don't try to get to me through my friends Cause if you do, I don't wanna talk Yeah, I've been a minute since I said swear But every day What's up, guys? Welcome back to Boost TV And happy Easter Because Easter's coming around right around the corner And... Today we have kind of like a training video for you guys, but it's gonna be a little bit different. There's a lot of drills that I've posted for you guys, I think in about like 50 videos I have on this channel. A lot of drills I've posted for you guys that I learned later on in my career. And sometimes I think, man, if I was doing this when I was a kid, when I was in the academy, imagine how good I would be. And that's what I wanna show you guys today. So these are pretty much the drills or anything that I've shown you guys that I feel like if I was doing them back then when I was a kid, that would have made me so much better. And these are all the drills I wish I was doing from 10 years ago when I was either 14 or even younger than that, that I was just doing every day. If I was doing these drills every day, man, the kind of player I would be now. Obviously, it's never too late to start you know, improving and working on things you didn't work on in the past. But I mean, I kind of regret not doing a lot of these things. So I'm here to show you guys that today. Side note. I am almost at 1,000 subscribers, you guys. I think upon posting this video, I'm really close to 900. So if you haven't subscribed, please, please, just hit the subscribe button. That's all I ask. I don't ask for much more, but just hit the subscribe button. And if you already subscribed, just hit the like button. And if you, are, if you already hit the like button, then check me out on Twitch. And if you already check me out on Twitch, then Thank you. Thank you so much. If you already did all that, just thank you so much. I don't, there's not much I can say, you guys. But seriously, you guys, thank you for always tuning in and supporting me. I've been doing this for almost a year now, and I can't be more grateful for how many people have subscribed and watched my videos. <sighs> Alright, forget that. But thank you, guys. Let's get on into the video. So, yeah. Stay tuned. Now, for this first drill, it's called the nine point test. I do this drill a lot when I'm back home in Orlando, Florida with my trainer. He's the one who showed me this drill originally. So you set up nine cones and you dribble around each cone and then back to the center cone after you go to each cone. I'll show you guys in this video. I'll put it in slow-mo first so you guys can see it clearly and then I'll run it in real time. This is a great drill because it works on how well you can keep your body under control and keep the ball under control when your legs are tired because once you get to like the back line of cones, you, your quads get extremely tired. And I think this drill would have been great to work on my endurance and also my technique when my legs are tired because a lot of times when you're tired your technique goes out the window and that cannot happen when you're playing in a professional game you got to keep you got to keep focused keep sharp no matter how tired you are no matter what minute it is and i think this drill does a great job at doing that and honestly in my personal opinion it's pretty fun So now this drill will also be around the same theme as my first drill I showed you. So working well when your legs are tired. And I like this drill a lot because it incorporates passing and dribbling. And as a midfielder, I do those things pretty much all the time. That's really my, my bread and butter. So this drill is really important. And I like it because once you dribble out through the cones, it's important to set yourself up so you can pass it first time as quickly as possible. And you're gonna wanna set yourself up again to pass it back. And then also, it helps on your first touch because receiving that ball from your partner, you wanna make sure your first touch kind of leads you into the dribble. And I think that's really 
underestimated how important your first touch is because some i mean people can you can take more than one touch but if you can you want to try to do things in one or two touches and the best way to do that is if your first touch it sets you up for what you want to do next and this drill really helps on that and i do it a lot when i'm home I bring it wherever I go. I've done it when Georgia was my team. I do it back home in Florida. When I go see my mom across the world, I do it over there too. So it's it's a fun little drill. I hope you guys like it. All right, guys, so in this part of the video, obviously here I'm just passing, but it really goes for any part of the sport, and that's just working on your weak foot. I wish I worked on my weak foot, which is my left foot, a lot more, because when you're a player, especially a midfielder, being, being able to use both feet is just a huge weapon that not a lot of players actually have, and it just... It gives you a lot more room to just do whatever you please because you're confident using your weak foot. And you'll see that if you're not confident using your weak foot, it's easier to defend you or you can't do as much as you want with the ball. You can't make certain passes because you don't want to use your weak foot and because it's not as good as your strong foot or your dominant foot. And I just think if I did a lot more weak foot training when I was younger, it would be a lot better than it is. Right now it's okay, but I wish it was... 10 times better like freaking kevin de Bruyne type weak foot and you know it's not where where i think it needs to be but it's always improving because i'm still trying to do these drills to get it up to get it up to speed and yeah that's just one thing i wish i would have done when i was a kid so here's some footage of me doing some weak foot drills for you guys I just came with off the top of my head. I just figured why not put a lot of cones together and see if I can dribble through them. And then at some point my dad said, you know what, why don't you call this drill landmines or something? So that's what I'm gonna call it. We're gonna call it landmines. It's really just dribble through the cones, try not to touch one. This drill is really good just because it works a lot on your close control and your reactions. Because at some point you're gonna take a touch that you didn't expect and you have to react to it. And that happened to me before. It's just, it's just how it is. Because each time you go through the cones, you want to try to go in a different pattern than you did before so it's not just repetitive and i think that's what makes this drill kind of fun because it allows a little bit more creativity than the other drills you can go into the left side the right side the center sometimes i would even switch up the cones and what and which way they were, they were placed so that i'd get a little bit of a different type of dribbling pattern and i i enjoy this drill this is the i think i did it one time before this uh, last season with some of my teammates and it was really enjoyable and then I did this by myself in the pre in off season and I really liked it so I hope you guys like this drill too simple drill you can do by yourself no partner needed and yeah that's the that's the drill This part this is more passing and this one is more specific to a center midfielder i wish and let me tell you guys i wish i worked a lot more on my body position because now it's coming back to bite me and this drill is perfect because it works on you playing a pass and then having to back pedal to open up your body so you can play your next pass and the, the better you are at this, the less touches you have to take to play that next pass. If your body position is bad, you might have to take three touches just to play to your next pass. But if your body position is good, sometimes you can play it in one touch and sometimes you can play it in two, in, in two touches, which is the goal. So I just wish I did a lot more drills to work on my body shape because it just helps even an outside back or striker, winger, whatever the case may be, your body position just helps so much. And I just wish I had, let's say, like a partner or anything to help me simulate what I need to do in the center of the park to help me play my next pass. And this drill does a, does a great job of that.
this drill, the reason why I wish I could I could have done this when I was younger is because it really works in your technique. And I feel like my past technique could be better than it is now. And this works on both your right foot, your left foot, and your movements especially because you have to move from cone to cone, make sure your body position is correct so that you can play it first time. And I just, I just really feel like I missed out on having the opportunity to do a drill like this. I didn't have people to train with consistently every day that I trained. So most of the time it was just me, a ball, a wall, and some cones. That's really all I had. But I do wish I had more people to train with consistently so I could do more drills like these, work on my sharpness, work on my technique, work on my technique when I was when I'm tired, all of that. So I think in terms of my technical passing, I feel like this is one drill I would have loved to do a lot more. Hey guys if you didn't see this coming then you must not have been watching this channel long enough but one thing i would have loved to do a lot more is shoot my technique at shooting could be so much better i could be able to shoot from long range short range whatever angle it comes it, com it comes from it wouldn't matter if i just shot a lot more as a kid now obviously i just had a wall like there was no goal to shoot on if i if i could shoot it would only be in training which just wouldn't be enough i didn't have a goal but I just wish I got to shoot the ball more because at the end of the day, goals matter. And if you can score goals, you just made yourself a whole lot more valuable to a team or to a coach if they know that you can get some goals in every season. And I wish I could shoot a lot more. I'm working on it a lot now. I try to shoot as much as I can in training. Hopefully it, it improves, but yeah, that's one thing I know that if I did that when I was a kid, it would be miles better than it is now. Alright guys, so lastly, I just wish I could have played more as a kid. Whether it was 5v5, 6v6, 8v8, I just wish I had the ability to play a lot more often because I feel like there's just certain things you can't replicate training by yourself or just with a few people. That 5v5 gives you the opportunity to. It gives you the chance to try out new dribble, dribbles, passing, working your body shape, playing under pressure, which is so important. And I just think that's where I lacked when I was younger is being in enough game-like scenarios, whether it's 5v5 or 6v6. So as I got older, I was able to play here. When I was younger, I was obviously worried about injuries a lot, but at some point I just had to say, you know what? I'm not gonna get injured. If I play smart, if I play the right way, I won't get injured. And eventually I was, be I was able to play a lot more. And that's, that's really all I wish I could have done when I was a kid. <laughs> There it is. Well, there you have it. Those are all the drills that I feel like I wish I would have done when I was younger because they would have helped me so much leading up to it where I am now. I would have been so ahead of the game doing all those drills consistently every day, even just like three times a week, not even every day. If I was just doing those drills consistently, I would have I would have been in a much better spot now. But you can only do so much. In hindsight, that's just what I wish I would have been doing. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, please like, subscribe, and share it with anybody you think might need it. Try these drills out for yourself. Show some kids these drills. Do whatever it takes to make somebody better and make yourself better. And uh, yeah, once again, happy Easter. I hope you guys enjoy your weekend. 
and your Easter weekend, time with your family. If you celebrate it, if you don't, then enjoy your day. So yeah, be easy. Mm -hmm.